Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Jenkins Google Summer of Code Machine Learning Project Office Hours. My name is Marky Jackson. I am one of the mentors for this project, along with Jonas and Bruno. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here. Uh, I will say, uh, before we get started, that we are under the code of conduct, under the Jenkins code of conduct, which essentially just boils down to be nice to one another. And uh, awesome. Uh, I am going to introduce myself and everybody knows, I think most everybody knows me. Uh, my name is Marky. I am one of the potential mentors. Uh, we, call, we call us potential mentors until the project is accepted. There are three main potential mentors on this project. That's myself, Jonas, and Bruno. Uh, so that is who I am. Uh, Jonas, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, good afternoon and good day, good evening for those uh, other time zones. Um, uh, I am in Boston. I'm a, uh, a research scientist at a pharmaceutical company here, and I've been using Jenkins for quite a while now as uh, a tool for research applications. And uh, for the last couple of years now, we have proposed this um, Jenkins machine learning project uh, with uh, Marky and uh, with Bruno. Uh, who I know for quite a few years, um, and uh, uh, we're looking forward to this interesting project that really opens up Jenkins to a totally new domain, which is uh, data sciences. And uh, we're looking forward to entertaining your proposals and uh, seeing what you guys uh, are able to contribute to the community. Yeah, um, hi, this is Bruno. I'm based in Auckland, New Zealand, but I'm originally from Brazil. I'm, at the moment, I'm a research software engineer with a company working with weather and climate. Um, I've used Jenkins for many years, both as a software engineer, DevOps, and also um, for life sciences, um, where I met Johannes many years ago, and we've been working together um, <clears throat> on several projects and ideas that we had. Um, I had a look at the proposals so far this weekend and I'm really happy with what we have and really looking forward to to having fun with the students working on these proposals. Awesome, thank you very much. There is a potential new mentor here and that is Shive. Am I saying that correctly? Yes, sir. Uh, you're cutting. So I call like uh, everyone pronounces differently. So it's Shivai. Shivai. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Please introduce yourself. Sure. Uh, so uh, uh, good evening and good morning to everyone over here. Uh, so I'm Shivai Lamba. I'm one of the uh, like I'm trying to be a potential mentor. And so I've had like a couple of years of experience working with machine learning and also working with a lot of like automation tools of and using Jenkins as a way like Maven projects in Java. So I have a lot of like, I've used a lot of these tools during my software development uh, skills that I've been using in a lot of multinational companies as well. And I also have a decent amount of exposure to Qflow. Uh, so when I heard about this project uh, that is uh, related to something related to both uh, Jenkins and machine learning, uh, I was really excited. And so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about me. Well, welcome, Shivai. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you very much. If the potential students would like to introduce themselves, please do so. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm Logi. I'm Logi from Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm currently doing my final year uh, in my computer science and engineering. So I would like to participate in GSOC program for the first time. So uh, I had a, uh, workshops on this uh, GSOC in my university. So I, I, I got to know about the Jenkins and there's a GSOC program. So 
I would like to participate in this uh, particular project because it has uh, intersect uh, Java and Python. So I will, I, I, I'm interested in machine learning and also in Java. So it's the perfect uh, project for me. So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Who else would like to go? And if you don't feel comfortable doing so, that is understandable. That is understandable. Okay, we will go ahead and move on. Uh, I am going to go into some uh, general news, and that is there has been a timeline change. The timeline change uh, does not affect the student application deadline. That deadline still is March 31st at 11 p.m. Pacific U.S. time. The coding period that has been moved back uh, a few weeks. Uh, in the notes, I've linked to the developer uh, timeline from Google in regards to that. Some other updates, the, the potential mentors have gone through and started doing the reviews of applications. Uh, we will be doing those reviews throughout today and tomorrow. I do ask that all students submit their drafts to final submission no later than Monday at 11 p.m. U.S. Pacific. Again, I ask that all students submit their drafts to final no later than Monday at 11 p.m. U.S. Pacific. And that's because the deadline is March 31st. Are there any questions in regards to that? I do see we have a comment where, uh, and I'm, I'm going, I apologize uh, for not getting your name correct. So I do see a comment in here. It's Ifi Oma Oko from Nigeria. And they are apologizing that it's 1 a.m. there. And uh, so they can't talk right now. I will uh, add a note here uh, to the notes in just a moment. I will be sending out a doodle. Once we choose the student that will be working on this project, we will change this office hours to a different time that's more suitable for everybody. But right now, because we had such a wide uh, list of students that covered so many different time zones, this is what was this is what we saw this was what was selected on the original doodle that I sent out. Uh, any questions? Okay, well with that, I am going to open it up. Uh, let me just see where we are here, mental reviews. Uh, I'm going to open it up to any questions that potential students may have. This would be the time for you to ask those prior to uh, submissions. I know uh, a lot of people have seen comments from the mentors on your submissions. Yeah. Okay, no, no questions, none. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, mentors, did you wanna add anything? I just wanted to say that um, the quality of the proposals is very, very good. I was very happy to read them. The comments that we tried to make, I think they're meant as um, guidelines for uh, improving, not as a criticism. I hope people uh, realize that. Um, and uh, hopefully the final Submission by March 31st uh, will have improved over the original ones because of these comments. If you still have questions, um, I think you can still reply in the comment sections of those uh, documents. Um, just make sure that they are in um, Google Docs. Uh, format so that um, the comments go through okay. I think we had one submission where the 
document was a uh, Word document and uh, there were some issues with the comments that we were making on that. But I think at least for the students that are participating in the call right now, um, their proposals were uh, in the right format and um, I believe all of us have, have looked at them. They were very good. I'd like to second that. Uh, really good proposals. Uh, so I thank everybody for the time that they put in. I know these things are, they can be nerve wracking, trust me. So I appreciate uh, all the work, not only from the students, but also the mentors. Uh, they take time out of this. It's a volunteer effort. So thank you to the mentors as well. Well, I mean, that makes it too easy. I will say that uh, before we end, before we end this call, that if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out either via the mailing list or in the Gitter chat. I think with all of the various time zones, I think the three mentors currently, we cover the time zones fairly well and we're pretty responsive. So do not hesitate. Uh, I will add that we will be making our selection uh, for students by I believe end of day tomorrow. Now, I want to say that if you do not get chosen, that was in, I don't want to, anybody to feel that they didn't get chosen because they didn't do the right things. We, we had a lot of people uh, submit more than I had actually expected. And that is awesome. Uh, but unfortunately we can only choose one person and that does not mean you cannot try again the following year. This is a great opportunity to learn about the process. I will uh, ask if any, if any students have any questions, please, now is the time. Marky, I have a question if you, if you don't mind. And that is in terms of the uh, final selection of the student, what is the exact timeline for that? So, the timeline for the, the I, excuse me, I made a mistake in what I said. Your submission must be done by tomorrow. By that's tomorrow. what I meant to say. Yes, the that's selection, what I thought. Okay. <laughs> thank you for correcting me. The selection of the student, and I'll tell you the exact timeline for that is. Uh, but he's not tomorrow. <laughs> it's not tomorrow. Yes. It's not tomorrow. You have up until. I believe the mentors have up until the 30th to do all of the organizational slots and project selections. And then the students of projects get announced on May 4th. I apologize. I deeply apologize on that. I meant to say so, that your applications need to be submitted by the end of the day, final submission, end of day, to, uh, the, third, the, the 29th. Third. Well, no, excuse me end of day Tuesday at 11 p.m. Pacific time is when everybody has to submit their draft into final. Yes. And, and I will say that first. Hold on, I got to let me look at a calendar. I'm, I'm looking at this. So Tuesday is the 31st and it's 11 a.m. Pacific time. Correct. 11 a.m. Let's just at least make sure that we have that right. March 31st, 11 a.m. Pacific time. You are correct. Okay. So, um, Let's add that to, I mean, you probably have that already in the document or in the, in the link, but we'll just clarify that. I am going to March 31st, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. I added that to the notes. Yes. I have the right time. I have the right day. I just did not put a.m. in there. Nope, I actually did. I put p.m. Okay, I have corrected that. I apologize. So, are there any other questions from any of the students? 
now that I've just confused everybody. So just to clarify, you have until March 31st, 11 a.m. Pacific U.S. time to take your, your draft submission in the Google Summer of Code website and move that to final submission. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. If nobody has any questions, if nobody has any questions, we'll conclude this call. Can I ask that Bruno and you stay on? Yes. And I will go ahead and stop the recording. Thank you all. Thank you all. Uh,